One of the biggest frustrations is that police in Charlotte will not release their video of the incident. Yeah, wearing body cameras, at least a couple of those officers. Now, they say that would jeopardize their investigation. So we looked into South Carolina's laws regarding police dash cam and body camera videos. Robert Kittle tells us what happens in this kind of situation here. A big part of the unrest in Charlotte is the conflicting stories about what happened when police shot Keith Scott. Police say he had a gun in his hand. Witnesses say it was a book. And I think a good bit of the unrest in Charlotte is because the police have not been forthcoming in providing the information that the police have. Jay Bender is a media attorney in South Carolina. He says the South Carolina body camera law that Governor Nikki Haley signed last year is ironic. The law is named after Walter Scott, who was shot in the back by a North Charleston police officer, but the law exempts body cam video from being released. Now, there's a list of people who have access to it, but it's not the general public in whose name the police operate. That new law applies only to body camera video. Dash camera video is not included, and it is supposed to be a public record that is subject to the Freedom of Information Act. But Bender says a lot of the time, police departments will not release that video without a court fight, like the case of Zachary Hammond. The officer in that case said Hammond was about to run over him with his car, and the police didn't release the dash cam video for months. When they finally did, it showed the officer firing into the car from the side. The body cam law does allow police to release the video at their discretion. Well, it's going to happen when the cops are shown doing something good. It's not going to happen, or at least it will always seem to me to be the case, that you will never voluntarily have a release by a law enforcement agency of police acting badly. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. So you, you heard Jay Bender mention that there were some people who were allowed to see that body camera footage in South Carolina. In this state, under that law, somebody who's arrested or hurt by police is entitled to see the video. So are parents and guardians if it's a minor or the person in the video was killed.